So why have sports become so political? And when did professional sports become an arena for displaying social, political, and other beliefs for in inclusivity? Why is it more important for an NFL hockey player to don a rainbow flag than, say, the American flag or his own nation's flag on the ice or maybe, I don't know, a Blue Lives Matter flag? So NFL hockey player Ivan Pravarov from the Philadelphia Flyers declined to wear a pride jersey. Well, why? Let's listen. I respect everybody's choices. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. That's all I'm going to say. How do you Any, uh, like I said, that's all I'm going to comment on that. Um, if you have any hockey questions, I would, like, I would answer those. It sounds reasonable enough, right? Well, the radical woke mob is up in arms. They're furious. This is not good enough. Hockey is for everyone, dot, 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 unless, unless you don't agree with gay rights is not the phrasing of this. You're either in this or you're not. And one last point. Nothing scares me more than any human being who says, I'm not doing this because of my religious beliefs. Because when you looked at people's lives, you normally say that publicly, you'd throw up at what you saw. You would throw up at what you saw. And I have seen that a million times in a lot of different ways. So don't, don't give me that. I want to throw up from that shirt you're wearing there, pal. But the message is loud and clear. Provorov's move is supported, and his jersey now is completely sold out on the NHL shop. Here to weigh in is former NHL star Ron Duguay. And by the way, when I saw the story, I called up my friend Ron, and I, I said, Ron, and he said, I am, I'm fired up. And I said, you don't want to fire up Ron Duguay, or you get checked right into the boards face first. Ron, which, which part of this story fires you up? Well, it's the zero tolerance, right? They talk about wanting tolerance and not accepting uh, Ivan's beliefs, which is Christian beliefs. And I guess if you're not a strong Christian man or person, then you don't quite understand what he's thinking, where he's coming from. And he's not protesting. He's not discriminating. He just said, look, it, I don't support that lifestyle according to my belief as a Christian man. I understand that. And that's all he was doing. He didn't do much more than anything else. He's not criticizing a person in particular. And that's where I have a problem with uh, analysts coming out and firing at him uh, with some of them saying you should go back to Russia. And, um, and so I understand what he did, why he did it. And he's a good man. I love the fact that his teammates stood behind him. I like the fact that Coach John Torrella stood behind him. They didn't want to make a big deal out of it. And the good news is they went and played and they won the hockey game. Yeah, and so the Flyers didn't have an issue. The coach didn't have an issue. Even the NHL that didn't necessarily have an issue, but it's, it's some wacko talking head who's, who's got an issue. And by the way, it's America. It's, it, you, yes, you have freedom of expression, but you also have freedom not to express something you may not want to. And freedom of religion is our First Amendment to the Constitution, Ron. Eric, you mentioned it before. You know when uh, a fan goes to a sporting event, do you think that they want to go to that sport event to listen to things that are dividing this country, politics, religion, sex? No, they go there because they want to be free of all that. They don't want to see it in a, in a hockey warm-up or they don't want to see it in a baseball field or in a football field. They want to just go to the sporting event and get away from all that. There's a time and place for it. And I just don't believe doing it in a warm-up, getting ready for a hockey game is the right place because – you know that at least 30% of the people are not going to agree with you. So I understand the NHL, what they're wanting to do. Everyone is uh, welcome to play hockey. And I think the NHL, Gary Bettman, has done a wonderful job with the NHL. It's got a great reputation. And I know the intent is good, is that sometimes some things backfire. And I don't think this kind of going their way. Yeah. All right, Ron. Yeah, we're going to leave it there, but good, good having you on. Good, right guy at the right time. Um, but, man, I, it just seems like, you know, I've said this for a long time. It's, it's the corporate boardrooms need to, to get out of the politics game, get out of the woke, woke game. And, and when you say corporate boardrooms, that means the NHL as well. I don't want you to comment on that because I know, uh, by the way, you're going to announce the Ranger game tonight. So good luck with that. And uh, I wonder if that will come up tonight. Ron DeGay, thank you for your time. All right. Welcome, Eric.
Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532. 